Hey y'all, I'm back with another read. Now this read is going to um, go into details. If you are dealing with, you have your twin flame, you know this person is your twin flame. Oh, my eyes jumping. <laughs> so you know this is your twin flame and you guys are currently separated. They're currently dealing with a karmic right now. So we're going to do a little bit of spying to see what's going on with the divine masculine and the karmic. Okay. So this is highly requested. I, I done got a few emails of requesting to do this type of read. So we're going to get into it. And we're going to jump right into it. All right, spirits. So, oh. We had some jumpers already. Oh, wow. Okay, so right off the bat, we got the Six of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Hangman, and the King of Cups. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. I'm getting picking up on Pisces energy, especially with the moon and the Queen of Cups right here next to each other and the hangman. All Pisces is energy as well with this King of Cups as well, too. Hold on, y'all. Because I'm waiting on a package. And my alarm just went off. Okay, so, sorry about that, y'all. I'm having to see what's going on because I'm waiting on the package. Okay, so, I feel like some of y'all definitely could be dealing, like, with a water sign. Or they could be dealing with a water sign. They could be a water sign. The masculine could be a water sign. Or the karmic could be a water sign. Um, I'm also getting Libra's energy as well, too. I'm getting like giving something some time. I'm seeing, I'm seeing giving something some time to break to giving something some time to break up, giving someone some time to break up. I'm seeing it. Okay, so. What's going on with the divine masculine and the karmic? I feel like divine masculine is uncertain about whether or not uncertain on whether or not if they made the right decision. They could want to be single. They also feel like they're not sure if this is a waste of time or not. And Divine Masculine could also be feeling stuck. I also see as well, too, that with Justice right here, this could be a situation where this is definitely karmic with Justice here. I'm definitely hearing what goes around comes around. Um, I'm definitely getting like masculine feels stuck. Masculine is juggling as well too. They might not only just be dealing with one karmic. 
They could be dealing with multiple karmics. Um, but I do see them juggling, going back and forth, feeling like they're at a fork in the road. They're not sure um, where they want to be or what they want to do. I feel like masculine wants to break up with karmic and will break up with the karmic, but they they feel like they should wait. I feel like somebody could be giving masculine advice on, on not to uh not to move too soon. Masculine could be going through some financial issues as well on trying to save money. This person could be helping them save money. See why the two of swords is here. Yeah, chariot could be a cancer that they're dealing with, but they don't see any progress being made. They want progress to be made, but they don't. They aren't seeing any progress being made as of right now. There isn't any progress being made right now. And this is kind of worrying the masculine. Masculine could have told people that they so in love with this karmic, that they um that they're over uh the divine feminine, that they're happy with the situation that they in, they feeling like they winning, they on top. But they aren't seeing any progress being made. And, like, and it's starting to worry them. It's starting to make them feel like they got played. Yeah, masculine wants to see some action so he could get some type of attention. So, uh, tell me more about this King of Wands and the Magician. Yeah. Masculine want to make all the rules <laughs> and let Karmic follow them. Masculine also felt left out. Um, they didn't feel... Like they fit in. Also, this he was giving Karmic a hard time too as well because he was being very emotionalist. Like he didn't have, uh, he wasn't showing a lot of emotions in the past. It's until like, until we got the Hermit and the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords until the truth came out. Some type of truth came out. And then that's when Masculine started showing uh, Karmic some attention. I'm definitely picking up on Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles and the Devil here. I get too that they argue all the time. They argue all the time about money. Somebody's trying to, Carmen could be trying to work on her image with the uh, Empress and the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. She could be trying to work on her or his image. 
to try to please um to try to please masculine masculine is juggling um is juggling over here we got the queen of cups they could have possibly walked away from this queen of cups i feel like this queen of cups symbolizes you guys this feminine energy the divine feminine divine masculine could have walked away from you but they're still watching you they're still sitting up here watching divine feminine um Why they sitting up here smiling? Why does the Queen of Cups have the Tower and the Ace of Wands? Okay, they they don't understand how they felt like them walking away from you, everything was going to shatter. But with this Ace of Wands right here, you got a new beginning. I feel like this surprised masculine, okay? This surprised masculine. Somebody's true colors were revealed as well. This person, this karmic could be a Leo with the strength card right here. But their relationship is struggling. They argue all the time. Um, somebody's trying to find a way out of something. Trying to masculine trying to find a way uh to get out of the situation. She's been sitting over here in the cut. He or she, take a hot resonate, been waiting a long time for a masculine to take this leap of faith or start have this new beginning with her. She feels like she won. With the six of wands and the five of wands. This person feel like they won because they're in a relationship. We got the six of wands and the five of wands. They feel like they won because they got masculine to be in a relationship with them. Um, and the truth did come out. Hermit, six of swords, ace of swords. Some type of truth did come out. Um, but she was waiting on masculine to see if he was going to change his mind. Masculine could even be a married man. With the Emperor and the Four of Wands here. This is definitely giving me husband type vibes or man of the house type of vibes. Um, she was waiting a long time for this beginning with uh, masculine. Masculine is just busy trying to avoid conflict, but it's a lot of conflict. It's a lot of competition. It's a lot of disagreements. It's too many people uh, involved. I feel like masculine is uh, asking um, karmic for gifts or money. We got the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles all the time. Um masculine just like as long as she ain't saying or complaining about it i'm gonna ask um and she's gonna she he is giving it sugar mama sugar daddy i feel like this person is a provider is very much so assisting masculine and masculine is getting a lot of attention off of this I'm getting, uh, someone could be married, but they're separated. Mask would say, look, this is chance to run wild and free and have fun. Um... Tell me why the Ace of Swords is here. 
tell the truth. King of Pentacles. This is giving me Capricorn. Capricorn could be involved because I keep seeing the King of Pentacles and the Devil. High Priestess Pisces could be involved or a Cancer. But masculine got other options, okay? They got plenty of other options. But she's letting him do what he wants to do. While he gets what well, I'm getting like she lets masculine have his cake and eat it too. And that's what he is enjoying about the situation. Okay. That's what I'm getting. She waited a long time for this, so she's willing to like do whatever. She waited a long time for masculine. Divine Masculine's um, intentions towards karmic. <sighs> See, Masculine is a narcissist. Some of y'all Divine Masculines, they off the chain. Because we got love at the bottom of the deck, but then we got girl with the snake. So this girl with the snake is normally a really, really nice person that's really giving, that's caring, that will, like I said, give you the shirt off their back. But this is somebody who, uh, this is a narcissist paradigm. Like the narcissists love people that don't have, that, you know, don't have boundaries, don't really care, just want somebody there is always having like low self-esteem or just uh, have a sense of not wanting to feel alone or be alone. Masculine is going to leave this person heartbroken because we got a healing heart. So masculine was trying to heal himself and drug somebody else into this. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Masculine just wants some free time. And then we got both. This is re receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. This is my six of swords energy. This is moving on. So masculine is trying to move on from something in the past that... He hasn't gotten over. He used her to uh, help him get over something from the past, a lover from the past. But then we got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Like, come on now. We got camera and clock, reminiscing, keepsake perception, learn from the past, and making memories. So masculine over here being nostalgic, thinking about the past. And then we got the golden mirror. It's so self-absorbed. And the narcissist, I said that. This, this <laughs> is a one-sided relationship. And masculine over there love bombing the fuck out of this karmic. And she think that she got somebody. But one thing about it, this man got a handful of cards. that A handful of aces, spades that he not showing her. And he got him being a runner. He a track star. And this is him being super comfortable with palm tree and karmic relationship. He's super comfortable in this connection because he is getting abundance. Okay? He's getting abundance out of it. He's getting whatever that he wants from out of the deal. Give me one more card. The Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Now, this is the world card. Now, this is right here under the Grim Reaper. This is a closing of a chapter. And then we got not today. So, when this situation ends... It's going to be somebody going to be angry as hell, not dealing with, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, boundary, still angry. Masculine going to end up cutting this karmic off, and this karmic going to be mad as hell. Masculine over there love bombing them. And they over there giving masculine everything that their heart desires. But when it all falls down, 
them not having any boundaries is going to end up biting them in the ass. All right. So that's the message that I got for you guys. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.